Well, I met Stephen Hawking uh, or been in the same uh, meetings on a number of occasions. And I, I do remember in 1985, 84-85, uh, I was at CERN. And, and while I was there, um, Stephen Hawking came there for a sort of long visit. visit and I, I do remember seeing him uh, driving around in his wheelchair and also giving some sort of lectures, uh, speaking then with his own voice, which was uh, difficult to understand. But then there was uh, some student of his uh, trying to interpret what, what, what was it that he was saying. But while he was there, he got uh, pneumonia, I think, and, and uh, that that almost killed him. He was taken to the Cantonal Hospital of, of Geneva, which is right there next to CERN, and, and I do remember people speaking that he might now now die. And in fact, I think that uh, his wife was asked whether they should try to uh, stop to, to treat him or not, and, but, but she said that go on, and as a consequence, uh, uh, they opened his throat to, to make uh, respiration easier and, 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 and because of that he lost his uh, uh, speaking voice completely and, and after that he had to use the, the, the computer, the synthesizer to, to, to generate uh, the sentences. Uh, and I, then the next time I saw him was maybe a couple of years ago in, in Chicago in the United States when he, uh, when he had the synthesizer and he was still sort of moving around quite freely. He, he for instance, uh, uh, after the talks he, he came to a hotel bar where we were having a beer and he was sitting there with the with other people and using his synthesizer and I think most people were more interested in the synthesizer and its workings than, than in him. And then during the years I continued to cross paths with him in various conferences where he was sort of treated as, as just one of, of, uh, of the researchers, not with any, any uh, more respect that you would give to anybody who is a, a, a distinguished researcher and, and I think he continued to attend the meetings uh, fairly long. I don't remember exactly months of the last time, but at that time he already had a nurse who was accompanying him and, and sort of giving some medical treatments while he was sitting there at the back of the uh, lecture hall.